In the next video, I'm going to show you how to create a digital coin using the Ethereum network in under 10 minutes. This is, of course, intended to advance users, but if you want more detail, you can purchase the book that I have a link for, and I have a link to a course. You're going to get an extra credit if you can recognize the movie track playing in the background. So let's get into it. Right, guys, we're going to try to deploy our contract in uh, less than 10 minutes. What we're going to do first is we're going to go to the MetaMask, and in MetaMask, we're going to open a new account. We're going to do that by going and installing the Firefox plugin. So once we install the plugin, we have to add the plugin into our Firefox, and we're going to accept to allow the extension to communicate to get data. Once that's done, we're going to click on the MetaMask and we're going to get started. We don't have a wallet, so we're going to create a new wallet. We're going to agree to the default setting for now, we're not reading much. And then we're going to set up the password. After we're setting up a password, we have to agree to all the terms. Here's our private key. Our private key, we're not going to click it, we're not going to copy that now. And we're going to set our network into the Robston test network because we don't want to use real Ethereum and we're going to use the deposit to get Ethereum. So we're going to use the MetaMask faucet to get Ethereum. We're going to connect it and then we're going to request to, to the Robston and then we're going to ask for one Ethereum. Looks like, look at that, looks like we have an error. So the error is coming up here. I've seen this before. It's got to do with the um, with the MetaMask network. So what I'm gonna try and do, I'm gonna connect to a different network. I'll connect to the Netherlands through my VPN. Maybe that's gonna do it. Let's see, I'm hoping that's gonna do it. And there we go, we connected. I'm on a slow internet, it's really hot here because it's a, it's a hot day. And hopefully that's gonna work. I'm gonna request it again. Let's see, it's just a little slow. That's hard to do in 10 minutes when everything is so slow, right? Anyway, so now after we're going to request it, let's see. You can see the transaction. So under that, here we go. Bravo. The transaction went in. So now it's going to take a few seconds because it takes some time through the EVM. It works just like the, the mainnet. Then we're going to create another account. We're going to create account too. This way we can actually try and send Ethereum and we can also deploy a contract. So we can have two separate accounts so we can test. So again, we're going to request again one Ethereum for the second account. Bravo. We got confirmation. Here's the transaction ID. So it looks like those two transactions went through and each account should have at this point one Ethereum. So once uh, the metadata Again, it's going to take a few seconds, but now the metadata account setup is complete and we got two accounts with one Ethereum in each. And now we're going to go into terminal and we're going to download our contract. Our contract, I took a contract from another developer and I just modified it and you can download it. I'm going to share the link in the description. So I downloaded it to my uh, computer and now I can use the command cat in order to paste it. So I'm going to paste the contract so I can copy and paste it into Remix. So here it is, here's the link to Remix. So after we have the contract, we're gonna go to Remix. We're not gonna make any changes in the contract, but because we're gonna, we wanna get it working, it's asking us to connect Remix to our MetaMask account, wallet. We're gonna agree to that. And then we're gonna take our, we're gonna go and copy our contract and we're gonna paste it into Remix. After you paste it, it's really important to remember that there's a drop down. There's two drop downs. So the first drop down, this one is we have to tell Remix what version we want to compile it with. We're going to compile it 0.5.13 and we're going to hit the start compile. And if you get any warning, just ignore the warning. You, you need to worry about errors. So we're going to ignore the warning and we're going to click the my token from the drop down. If you don't click the my token, the API and the bytecode that you get would not work. So you need to make sure that you select the my token because there's many functions in that smart contract. So you need to make sure you, you take the right code. Then we're going to um, to to connect my Ethereum wallet. And again, it's asking our MetaMask. The reason why we need to do that is we're going to use the my Ethereum wallet in order to publish our contract. 
to again to the testing network we're gonna copy the ABI code so this is the config ABI we're gonna put it into the ABI JSON interface then we're gonna go back into remix we're gonna copy the bytecode into my Ethereum wallet bytecode and then we're gonna name the contract my token and hit sign transaction that's gonna open up MetaMask because it's gonna charge us in order to publish our contract we're gonna to agree to that here we go we're gonna close the window and then we're gonna there's an alert and it says that it's processing so right now it's basically sending our contract into the Ethereum network and to the, through the EVM and it's gonna get processed so all the miners all the nodes are gonna have a copy of our contract and it can be distributed to all the nodes here we go we got a confirmation so if we go back into MetaMask and we switch we check you see this is our account too you see some bounce went down because it was used Ethereum was used to publish our contract so now if we click to see that at the ether scan we can actually get our contract address why do we need our contract address because we're gonna need to edit as a token I'm gonna close up my VPN because it's slowing me down a little bit here and we're waiting for the confirmation the internet is a little slow as we said here great bravo success so you see the transaction went through and the contract got deployed here is the address of the contract we're going to copy up the address of the contract just keep it somewhere because we're going to use it so open up metamask and now what we're going to do is we're going to click on the edit token and we're going to add a custom token with the address that we created automatically it's it picked up the symbol and it picks up here we go bravo all the coins are in our account so we have an account with all the account to holds all the coins and then we have if you remember we also created another account right so we created account one in account one we're going to do the same thing first we're going to go and add a token we're going to add the same token address and again we got the symbol we got the 18 and then we added that then next what we're going to do is we're going to click on the ethereum and we're going to send to the contract 0.1 Ethereum and we're gonna use the fast connection and our contract has um, we set in our contract that if you um, that if you send a hundred coins you're gonna get 120 as initial offering okay and it looks like it is pending so once the transaction will go through we're gonna get 120 coins instead of 100 coins because this is our the way we set up our contract so that the first users get extra 20 percent for limited time so we're waiting for the confirmation oh what happened it says that it failed it looks like the, the contract fell we send the ethereum the ethereum is back into our account but it did charge us the fee i've seen this before with ethereum it's uh, it's got to do with the gas so if the gas is too low the transaction would not go through so i'm just using the default settings so you can what you can do is you can set up a higher gas so those things won't happen so if you i'm going to close all the windows because the, the computer is heating up it's really hot here so what we're going to do is again we're going to check if it went through it's pending you see that red message warning error encountering during out of gas again it's an out of gas message so you can you can set up a custom gas so this happened i've seen it in blog posts that people complain about it with metamask that you use the default setting and it's for some reason it doesn't go through so um, it's something to do with metamask the, the way they calculate the gas on ethereum sometimes it's not accurate or or it's, it just doesn't go through so we're gonna try one more time so I'm, I'm actually happy all of this is happening because we're trying to do it under 10 minutes but realistically there's problems when you do development so it's it's good you, you see that it doesn't go smooth because you may run into problems great bravo transaction to confirm see so it went in it confirmed as you can see 0 0.1 ethereum went out of our account and we got 120 coins instead of 100 coins as we expected bravo that was impressive we're able to create digital coin in less than 10 minutes if you like to get a free report about interesting blockchain project click the survey below 
And by the way, the music was uh, by Paul Oakenfeld, the legendary, from the movie Swordfish. Keep following this channel for more videos.